Hi, this is Ali with Geek Inc. and we're here with David Nickel, who's probably best known for his role on Stargate Atlantis, but has been appearing in all sorts of interesting places. Um, Halifax being one of them. <laughs> <laughs> for many actors, uh, the theater is sort of a stepping stone to greater things, but you keep returning to these roots. If you had a choice, would you do entirely theater, or would you? Well, I did theater when I was younger. In my uh, in, in my twenties, I sort of started that. I, I ran a theater company in the Czech Republic for uh, uh, for several years. We were called Misery Loves Company, and uh, we had a great time. And we did uh, many productions uh, while out there. When I returned to uh, to Vancouver, uh, sort of in the zero zeros, oh one, oh two. Um, started getting involved more with uh, with film and TV. It, it, it is my first love. I love uh, doing theater, but uh, uh, film and TV also has a, a, a great appeal to me. It's a very technically, can be very technically challenging, particularly with, uh, with sci-fi, particularly with the speed and the, and the, the intensity of the, of the production. Um, and um, lucky that Vancouver's got, uh, you know, enough of a, a base of, uh, of TV shows going that uh, that there's that there's projects sort of constantly going on, so it's quite exciting. I enjoy both. But that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, your character on Atlantis, Doctor Zelenka, had an on-screen rivalry with Doctor McKay. Mm -hmm. How did you enjoy that role? And what, in reality, was your relationship with David Hewlett uh, as, as as contentious as it was on <laughs> as it was on screen? Uh, I, I get asked this question a lot. Uh, and David was fantastic to work with. He's a great actor. Um, when we first started, we had this sort of back and forth banter that I think the writers picked up on and uh, ended up scripting into the uh, into the show. So it was. It's really cool whenever you have an opportunity to sort of hit it off with uh, with, with, with someone like that. The sort of Mutt and Jeff uh, routine. So it was a real pleasure to do. I mean, Stargate itself has got a real strong sense of humor element to it the whole the whole franchise most of the franchise does and uh, the um, the opportunity to do that and, and to sort of have that kind of irreverence was is, is a real treat and, and to be able to sort of do that on screen as we're doing it in real life too was was great because there's a lot of improv I did a lot of uh, sort of speaking in Czech when I was talking in Czech so a lot of that was improvised so the producers sort of gave the actors a degree of freedom to be able to work in that, and that was that was a lot of fun. Um, and we are a tattoo magazine, so I do have yeah. to ask you if you have any tattoos, and if not, um, have you seen any Stargate Atlantis tattoos you particularly enjoy? I don't, uh, and I have seen some remarkable uh, Stargate Atlantis tattoos. I've seen my good friend Paul McGillian tattooed on someone's back before. <laughs> which was really good. I said, hey, Polly, you should see. I just saw you on this lady's back. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's, it's really cool. And uh, I've, I've, seen, uh, I've seen signatures that have been tattooed in. I've seen the Stargate lots of times on, uh, uh, on people. It's a, it's, it's a phenomenon. It, it really is. It, it's incredible that, uh, that, that people have taken the show and uh, so much so that they've, they've inked themselves. It's cool. If you were to get a tattoo, what would it be? I like to get a flash on my arm. Nice. Pretty simple. Uh, do you have any upcoming projects you'd like to talk about? It's a television program called Arrow, which uh, I'm involved with. Uh, and uh, I don't know to what degree, because I've just been informed that I'll be in another episode. But uh, we don't know how much uh, of this character is going to be coming back. So the only thing I can say is stay tuned to Arrow. That will not be a problem for the <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. It's my pleasure. Great to meet you. I really enjoyed it. And uh, that's it for HowCon 2013 with Geek Inked Magazine. They were once known as angels from the sky and heaven, but now.